Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill Clark. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Nibino 1080p sports camera. I did have to get two of the cameras because the first one I received from Take A Lot, the battery wouldn't charge properly and the image was not recording properly. But the second one I received is working fine. This is everything included with the Nibino Full HD 1080p sports camera, a waterproof case, a handlebar mount, the camera, some self adhesive pads, some straps, an open case, a tripod mount, two brackets and a USB cable, plus a well written manual. Here are the specifications listed on the box for the Nivino 1080p sports camera. I took the data from the files from the three comparison videos I did and one thing I noticed was that the frame rate still said 30 frames per second when on the specifications it said at 1080p it was 15 frames per second. Also the battery, there's no way that I could get 1.5 hours from it, I got 33 minutes. And on the first camera that came through that wasn't, uh, didn't, the end didn't work properly, I only got 20 minutes. The video quality didn't seem to change whether you use 1080p, 720p or VGA. All I noticed was that the image size changed. If you decide to purchase this camera, what I would suggest is you view your videos in a smaller format. I have used the handlebar mount and the open case. I decided to use the open case and not the waterproof one because I wanted to hear the quality of the sound that was recorded. I find the plastic, it seems very, a bit plasticky, so I'm not sure how long the, you know, the longevity of this plastic will be, but it worked nicely, the mount didn't slip. As I've already said, I haven't yet tried the waterproof casing. It looks of reasonable quality, um, very similar to a GoPro waterproof housing, uh, but I may try, I may test this out in the future. The recording time of the camera is 33 minutes and to recharge the battery takes an hour and nine minutes. Functionality of the camera is very good. It is very easy to use, the manual is well written and the buttons are easily accessed. You can also see the green light on the top of the camera in the open case when you're using the camera to record on a chesty. The only problem I came across with using the camera on a chesty mount is that you can't see the screen to see if you are where the camera is viewing. And also it doesn't have Wi-Fi so you connect it, can connect it to an app on your phone so that you can see where the camera is pointing. So that was a little bit tricky. So the first time I used it the shot was basically of the cockpit of my bike. To turn the camera on you do a long push of the power button the green light will come on and the camera will make a jingle. You'll be starting off in video shooting mode. If you want to change the mode, you just quickly push the power button and it will change to take a picture, to voice recording, to view any video on the SD card and then back to video shoot. If you want to change the options, you do a long press of the OK button on the top of the camera and then you use the arrow keys at the side to choose which option you want to change. So if you want to change the video size, you quickly tap the OK button, use the arrow key to pick whichever one you want and then click the OK button again. And down there you have timestamp options, motion detection, video time and recording etc. If you want to go to the next menu, long press the OK button and you'll end up going to where you can choose the language. You can have auto off, on or off, uh, system reset and then light frequency that you can change. And if you want to come out of the menu altogether, go back to shoot the video, long press and out the camera comes back ready to shoot. To take a video, all you need to do is tap the top button quickly. It will start recording. The yellow light will flash and when you've finished recording, tap the OK button again. And now for some footage from the camera. 
I then show some comparative videos. In this video clip I'm showing the full size format plus a clip at 40% of the original size. The video quality of the camera is not great, but one must keep in mind it only costs 350 rands. I will put the amount in dollars on screen. The image is grainy and can have a pastel-y effect. It also doesn't like being pointed into direct sunlight. In this video clip I filmed the same scene immediately after each other using the 1080p, 720p and VGA modes so you can compare the image quality. In summary, the Nimino 1080p camera is okay. You cannot compare it to a GoPro, but if you don't have one, you cannot film your, your adventures. At least this way you will have a camera and you will be able to keep memories and play them back in the future.
I'm lucky enough to have a GoPro, so I probably will never use this camera again. But if you don't have a camera, get one and get out there and cycle. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel. Keep well, ride nicely.